Hello everyone and welcome to Sewing Saturdays. My name is Gina and uh, today um, if you are uh, follow me, if you follow me on Facebook, uh, I have a page on Facebook and uh, I posted a bag. Um, it was this bag that I posted here and um, so it has a magnetic snap and I did add some pockets on the inside and also this little bag here and what we're going to do today is um, not so much the tutorial how to make the bag. I will show you how to make the bag. Uh, but talk about panels. Uh, because a lot of times we see beautiful panels. For example, this one here. This is from Northcott, in case you want to know what the panel is from. And it's called Flights of Fancy. Um, it's a really beautiful panel and a lot of times when we look at these panels you go to a store you see a panel and you automatic think oh I, I don't quilt so what am I going to use it for well you can use panels for a lot of things you know this one is in blue is a very pretty teals with a butterfly in the middle then they they also made this one in browns that has dragonfly, big butterfly, and the smaller one. And then there was also this other color here. You know, when I saw, I thought it was really beautiful. And there's so many things you can make with these panels. Not just this in particular, but any other panel. You can always cut it. You can cut it, take pieces out, you know. Um, because sometimes the pictures are really... I could see something with flowers. You could do the same thing. But I'm going to show you the technique how to work with these panels. And how to make that bag that I just made from the panels. So I will have these uh, panels available in my website if anybody's interested. Um, and I'm all go I'm going to show, I know some of you already bought some since they saw the the picture on my Facebook. So some of you already ordered some. But for those that haven't, if that's something that you like and you are interested in purchasing, I definitely have a few left, not too many, but there's a few left. Um, so as you see on the bag here, the butterfly is almost like a 3D effect, you know, because what I did, I actually, I stuffed my butterfly with some stuffing, okay? So, and I'm going to show you how to do that, how to create that effect, and also how to cut the panel to get this bag done. So I'm, since I already have this one, so one panel will give you this bag plus the little makeup bag that I made here. Or another option that you have is making this like mother and daughter bag. Just attach some little handles here to your little bag, to your little makeup bag. And any little girl would love to have a matching bag like mom. See all you have to do is attach some handles. Let me see. i show you a little bit better. Let me see if I'm not off frame. Because this is a new camera. Last week was my first time filming with this camera. And um, and uh, you know I had some issues recording, getting the right settings. I'm still trying to you know figure out how everything works. Hopefully this week will be a little bit better. Uh, so, yeah, so if you think that your little girl would like a little bag, you can definitely attach handles and then you can use that or you can use it as a makeup bag. Also, the panel is also enough to add your pockets on the inside and the straps. So all you would need extra would be the lining. You would need to get some lining. Um, okay, so let's kind of get started. I'm not going to be working with the blue because I already have a blue done. But um, I will be showing how to cut on the brown. So I'm going to put all this over here. So what I did here, okay, so I have my panel here. So I want to have my butterfly on the center. And you're going to need two panels to make that bag. Because you're going to need a butterfly for the, for the front and one for the back. So I'm going to go here and I want to use as much as possible of this panel. So I'm going to go here from my butterfly, from my bottom here, my butterfly, see over here. And I'm going to put my ruler right there. I'm now going to go one inch down 
from that little tip of my butterfly. And any pattern that you work with, that you want to cut it out from a panel, always try to, if you have a design, try to divide in a certain way that you have, you know, enough space if you're going to use the other part. So in this case here, I'm going to go one inch down from that design. And I need to balance myself off of something so I know I'm cutting it straight. Okay, so I'm going to go one inch from there, this tip here. And I'm also going to go one inch from that one. Then I'm going to find my straight line here on my... Let me bring this back here. So I'm going to bring my line here straight on the ruler there. So I know more or less I'm cutting that straight. And I'm still leaving enough space for my butterfly. Let's again at that justice here from my butterfly up here I still have enough space here when I use this for the small bag to add my zipper so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna cut it there so get my root my my cutter so I have that pretty much straight and I'm gonna go ahead and just cut it All right, so then I end up there. On the top here, because I do not want to destroy my dragonfly, I want my dragonfly to be used in my pocket. So I'm going to try to divide the distance between this and this part here. So I'm assuming it's about a quarter of an inch in between to each side. You know, and I'm going to go ahead and cut it. Okay. So now this is still, now I have this part here. That's going to be the body of my bag. And I'm still, this is still going to be too wide. So now from my sides here, I'm going to just do two inches. Okay, so from this line that I have here from this design in particular, I'm just going to cut two inches. And you decide how wide you want your bag. I don't want mine to be wider than the one that I've made. So I'm just going to go here and going to trim. Just going to just leave two inches of that border that I had and the rest I'm going to trim it off. So now I have this here. And it's like I said, you're not limited with panels sometimes. Look at this. This would look really stunning in some placemats. You know, you could uh, use the dragonfly also for placemats. You can trim some of this part from here and attach it to the bottom. And then trim this down a bit and your dragonfly is framed and you have another placemat. Also with this one you could do the same thing. You could trim it somewhere here, add some trimming, and again, you could end up with placemats. All right, so since we're working in the bag, I'm going to show you how to cut all the other pieces. So this part is done, is the body uh, of my bag, and you're going to need to cut another panel. You're going to take another one exactly the same as what I did here. So I'm going to put this one here to the side. Now I need to cut from, from the rest of this stuff, I need to cut my handles. Okay, so from each panel, I'm going to take one handle. You could use this part here for the handle, or you can use this part here for the handle. In my case, I'm going to use this, this one here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this part off because I don't need it right now. So I'm going to go here and trim it off. And now I'm going to go here from this bottom and I'm going to take about two and three quarters. That will be my handle of my bag. So I'm going to be taking one handle from here and another handle from the other panel. Okay, there I already cut the other panel ahead so I don't show you both panels being cut. So two and three quarters, that would be for your handle, okay? And this one here, now it's going to be her makeup bag. So what I want to do here, I'm going to show you how to cut this down to the size that we need. 
you're gonna go here about one inch from the butterfly out we're gonna trim that off all right same thing to this side we're gonna go one inch from the butterfly make sure you have a straight line so you're not cutting your fabric crooked make sure it's even and you're gonna trim it and you have the body for your makeup bag Okay, these pieces you can save them because you can use them for other things, even add pockets on the inside, you know. Um, again, also if you're going to add handles to the little makeup bag and use it as your little girl's bag, you can use the rest of these pieces, this piece, and you can even cut some from here, from this part of the dragonfly, and use that for the handles for the little bag, okay. In my case, um, I'm not going to be adding the handles right now, so I'm just going to put these to the side. However, I'm going to cut a pocket from here for the inside of my bag. So I just really want the dragonfly on the inside. So again, I'm going to base myself again here. Let's see, base myself here about from the bottom. I'm not going to give, not exactly, I would say half an inch from the wings of the butterfly. And I'm going to trim it, just giving myself enough seam allowance because I don't want a huge bag. I just want something that will be, you know. So again, from here, the same thing. I'm going to go a straight line, go about half an inch from the wings, and I'm going to trim it. And you also could have made another bag with this part if you the side you want it and the same thing here I'm going to do about one inch from the top of my and I really just finding straight edges in my ruler I'm not basing myself on the mat I'm just trying to use the ruler as a guide so I'm going to go there and um, so I have about an inch for seam allowance and I'm going to go ahead and cut it Okay, and this is going to be my pocket for the inside. Of course, I have to cut lining for this. And um, also, we need lining for this. After you have these pieces cut out, you're going to need lining. Okay. So, what I cut from this one, so I cut one part. One part for my little bag. One for my front of my bag. One pocket. And I also cut one handle. Where did I put it? Let's see right here and one handle and from the second panel you can cut exactly the same pieces or if you're only going to do a pocket you don't need to cut the dragonfly fabric out you can leave the dragonfly as one long piece and use it for something else so i'm going to put these parts to this side and i'm going to show you your next step okay so your next step is you're going to get um interfacing I'm going to be using it here to interface my um, my bag. Is This is a Pellon product and it's a TP971F. It's fusible to one side. And what I'm going to do here, I'm going to fuse this to this side. I would, since this you see has a crease here, I would definitely iron this first, make sure I have no crease. Now I'm going to get my interfacing here. I'm going to cut exactly to size. All right. And I'm going to go ahead, cut it to size. You don't want this to get uh, in your iron and follow the instructions how to fuse it. Um, but in this case, what I want you to do, I don't want you to fuse the whole thing. What I want you to go to the iron and just try to go around more or less the butterfly and fuse that part down. But leave kind of the butterfly, I don't want the butterfly to get stuck down yet because we're gonna stuff it, right? Um, after you fuse that part, I already have my other side of the bag that I did. That's here, as you see, I already st stuck that down. Then what I want you to do, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna take this to the sewing machine after it's fused just around 
and you're gonna sew an old line. Find a thread that really matches your design. If you're working with flowers, you can do that. As, if it's a panel that has flowers, you can do, you know, um, whatever design you, you have that you're trying to do this kind of idea. And so what you're gonna do is, you're gonna go ahead and do the outline. Okay, so I already saw it on this one. And then you're gonna turn it to the back and you're gonna find here, you see my outlines here. They're all sewed like that. So then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pull my fabric away from my uh, lining, from my lining, from my interfacing. And I'm gonna make little holes here, okay? I'm gonna make little holes and then I'm just gonna stuff it, you know, with the stuff that you buy for teddy bears, to fill teddy bears. You're gonna stuff it slightly. You're not gonna stuff it like a lot, just a little bit, just to give it that like, you know, kind of 3D effect that's gonna lift everything, okay? So you're gonna go ahead and do one section, as I did here. Then you're gonna get another little piece of interfacing. In this case, it's the SF-101. After you stuffed it and you're happy with it, you're gonna get a little piece, even scraps that you have from old projects, and I don't see any of mine here, but um, we're gonna fuse little pieces here on top just to close that little part. So this is the Pelon SF101 piece that I have. This is just scraps that I had from other, other projects. And I'm just gonna cut a little piece. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna iron it on top. Okay, and I'm gonna take this to the machine after I iron it on. Oops, let's put this one to the side. And you're gonna go ahead and quilt the lines that you want. On this case here, if it was a flower, I could do a lot of you know, designs. In this case here, I'm gonna go here and find the lines that I wanna quilt it, and I'm gonna go ahead and quilt it. Okay, so I'm gonna do all these little lines. After I'm done that section, I'm gonna do the same thing to the next section, and this section, and that section. And we're gonna do this to the front, to the front of our bag, and the back of our bag, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and finish that part and I'll show you when it's done. Okay, I went ahead and I quilted. Um, so this is what it would look like. Um, so quilting it, um, you're gonna follow any lines that you have there and uh, just, um, what I did, I increased my stitch length to about a four and uh, a few people had asked me, did I use a walking foot? I didn't use a walking foot, but you can definitely use a walking foot. Um, sometimes because you're sewing on top of these lines that are already there, uh, I prefer to work with uh, like a clear foot so I can actually follow the lines that are already there, but it's not a big deal anyway. And try to get uh, matching thread, something that will match your fabric really nicely. And this is really what would look, look like in the back. If you still want to make this bag, but you don't have a panel that you're working out with, or you're just working with like a, a print, a nice print that has some design, you can still use this same technique and pick up maybe a flower that has in the middle and stuff it. You can definitely do that. And the measurements that I have here, um, just in case you want to make the bag, it's a simple bag. It's uh, 21 and a half by 13 and three quarters. Okay, so it's th three, uh, 13 inches and three quarters this way, and it's 21 and a half this way. That's the two pieces that I have front and back. Um, then from here, uh, we're gonna be needing um, a bottom. So for the bottom I have here, okay, I have a piece that's gonna be also 21 and a half that I already cut uh, of matching uh, fabric. And, um, and it's six inches, so I did six, six inches, let's see, six inches this way and uh, 21 and a half this way. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and sew these together. So I'm going to go here, I'm going to pin it, and I'm going to sew it here. After I sew this there, okay, we'll end up like this, and I also want to sew to this bottom, okay? So I'm gonna go here, put these two together and also sew this side. Just make sure you flip the butterfly so they're going on the opposite directions. 
so it will look like that. So I'm going to go ahead and sew these. So after we sew this and this one here at her bottom, we're going to measure and see what we have here. And I have about five and a quarter. Okay, so you're going to go ahead and you're going to cut a piece, a Peltex, and this is um, 71F. It's kind of, you know, uh, stiff. And we're going to cut a strip because we're going to touch here to have a harder bottom. This one actually fuses to one side. Uh, but before that, before I cut it to size, I already have my strip here. And my strip here is actually five inches. So it will fit right in there. But you can do the five and a quarter if you want to. But uh, in my case, I did five inches. I just want to fit it right in there. And it will give me a nice bottom. bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fold this in half like this. And I'm going to find my matching here. I'm going to put a pin. And this side also. I'm going to find my seam here. And I'm also going to put a pin. Going to make sure my fabrics are evenly together. Okay. Okay. And now I'm going to measure my lining. So when I have these two pieces here. So I have fabric here that I chose from my lining. So I have it here. So I need these two pieces to be the same as this part here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to measure. I can just measure one piece. I had two pieces of fabric here. And I'm going to go ahead and just put it on top. And I'm going to trim this bottom off. Okay. So, and my lining ends up being, it would be 21 and a half because it's the length of my bag, the 21 and a half, of course. But the bottom part will be, the, the width of it will be about 16 inches. Okay, so this will be about 16 inches from here to here. And we're going to cut to the same. I normally, for my lining, I try to cut at least a half inch shorter than my bag. Because I don't like seeing a lot of, a lot of bulk in the bottom. So I probably will still trim about half an inch in each one of these from the bottom. So I need to trim that off and make them even like that. And so you can see better. I'm going to fold this before I cut it so at least you can see what I'm doing. Okay. So in the beginning of the, the video, I forgot to mention, I wanted to thank you all you guys for subscribing to the channel. We, we almost hit um, 40,000 subscribers and today I'm going to be doing a giveaway and the giveaway will be um, two panels, either the teal or the brown. You guys can write in the comment which one you would like. Um, the names that comment will be entered into a ra random uh, draw. And then next week when I make my video, I'll announce the winner. Okay, I will, you know, remind everybody again more towards um, the end of the video about the giveaway. So you'll get two panels so you can make a bag. And um, I also will add maybe some lining also for, for your bag. Okay, so uh, just don't forget, write a comment and... Um, and then uh, we'll see, maybe your name gets picked. Okay, so let's get back to where we were doing. So I have my lining cut, so I'm going to put this to the side. 
And I'm going to go ahead and bring this back one here. And I'm going to cut my corners. So I want my corners to kind of take the seam away, the seam away that I have here. So I'm going to see what I have here. So I have about three inches this way. First, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and mark a half an inch seam allowance. That's going to be my seam allowance, about a half an inch. So I'm going to go ahead and mark it. Okay. Just more here in the bottom because I need to know when I cut it. So I mark my half an inch and I'm also going to go to this side and mark my half an inch. And this is where I'm going to measure my um, corner. So I want this to be from that line that I already have my seam that I have here. That was from the bottom that I touch. So I'm going to put my ruler in there. And I'm going to bring my... Let me see. Let's see what we have here. One, two, two and a half. We're going to do two and a half. I think we'll be better. I think three is going to be too big. So... From this line here that I have here, it's actually from here to here is two and a half. So I'm going to go here and I'm just going to use that as my guide. So I'm going to go uh, from the line that I draw here, I'm going to do uh, two and a half. So I have one, two and a half. And from the fold of my fabric, I'm going to go two and a half. One, two and a half. And I'm going to draw a box. So from my sewing line, because we did six and we lost a little bit of fabric here. So like that I can cut right on that seam and I eliminate that seam altogether. So I'm going to go ahead here and I'm going to get some scissors. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to cut it right on that line that I just had there. Also the back, the same thing. Right on that seam, I'm going to eliminate that seam altogether, and I'm going to go here and I'm going to trim that. So I'm cutting my seam. Okay, and the same thing in the back. All right, so I'm doing my corner there. And I'm going to go ahead here and do the same thing. Let's bring that here so you can see it. Let's see, two and a half from my seam allowance, two and a half from the bottom. On there. And... Two and a half is here. Okay. So I know I need to cut the seam off. So I'm just going to go ahead and go here to my line, that my seam that I have here. And I'm just going to trim it there. If you don't want to do your corners like that, what you can do is your piece here in here could be smaller, could be already 14 and 3 quarters and you would find the middle and sew it in here. Okay, then you end up with that square missing anyway. Alright, so after you've done that, we're going to get our Peltex. And I need to find a piece, so I'm going to do the same size as that, and I'm going to trim it to that size. So, put it on top, I see it's here. So I'm going to go ahead and trim that to that size. I'm going to go ahead to the sewing machine. And I'm going to secure here and here, just the edges, 
okay? This is also fusible, so if you want afterwards, take it to the iron and press it down really good. So we'll stick to the interfacing that we already have there. So that will also work, okay? So I'm gonna do that. Let's, let's keep going with something else. Uh, when I go to the sewing machine, I'll take a few things. So I'll put this to the side, that's what I gotta do. And uh, we're gonna talk about uh, our lining. So I need to attach two pockets, all right? So I have two pockets here that I already did. Okay, and I'm gonna touch one to each side. So I'm gonna go here, find my middle, and literally you can just crease it. If you crease it, you know where your middle is. is. Okay, and so that's my middle. My pockets that I have here, if you're wondering about the size, you remember was the dragonflies that we just cut. But if you want to know the size and you're using a different fabric, it was 11 by 9. That's what I cut. And you need two pieces. So you need one for the front, one for the back. Okay, you're going to put right sides together, sew it, turn it to the right side. And then you end up with something like that. So I have mine here. So I'm going to go here from my top. So I know my middle is here. I'm also going to find the middle of my pocket. Okay. And I'm going to bring it to there. And now I need to figure out how high do I want it. I would go about maybe about two inches. Let's see. What do I have here? That's about three inches. That's too low. That's too... Okay, we're going to go about... Because I still need to do the bottom here. So I don't want that to be in the bottom of my bag. Let me remove one of these so I can actually see what I'm doing. Because the color can be deceiving a little bit. So, okay. So I'm going to go here. And we're going to go about, I think two and a half should be okay from the top of the bag. Okay, and I'm going to get my pocket and I'm going to center that there and sew it. Alright, put a couple pins and what we're going to do is we're going to sew it all the way around except the top of course, we need to use the top. Also when it is, is sewed in, this is quite uh, like it's quite large, so sometimes it kind of stays too open. I'm actually going to go ahead and divide mine in half, and I'm going to do a seam right here, right in the middle of the dragonfly. So I went up with two pockets versus a big one. You know, if you're comfortable with leaving it a big one, you can do that. That's not a problem. It's whatever you decide that you want yours to look like. So we're going to do that one. I'm going to leave it ready to sew. I'm going to do my next one. Okay, and that's ready to sew. I want to sew this close to the edge and I'm going to be sewing at 2.5. Okay, so now the makeup bag. Remember the butterflies we cut for the makeup bag? My first one here, the teal one that I did, you know, I didn't sew anything on the butterfly. Okay, I just left it simple like that, all right? So on this one here, I actually went to the sewing machine and I actually quilted a little bit, see? I actually went and quilted around the butterfly. The measurements for this makeup bag that I have here, so I have 11 and a half by nine and three quarters. So 11 and a half by nine and three quarters. Okay, and we're gonna need to interface that, I think I mentioned before, with um, the same interfacing that we do our main bag. And then we're going to need two of these, front and back, and two linings, and then one zipper. So, and we've done plenty of zippers, 
So what I'm going to do here is right sides together, pick this color here. I didn't have anything really, really this color, so I'm just going to go with this color. I didn't want to do white, it would stand out too much. So this is just a re standard regular zipper. So you're going to go there and just pin it. Again, if you're still very uncomfortable with zippers, what you can do, you can use a little bit of uh, school glue. You can put a little bit there and then put that on top, iron it a little bit of the tip, and then it will stay put in place while you sew it. Okay, um, then you're going to do that. And then you're going to do a lining. After your lining is done, you going to turn it to this side and then do a top stitch then we're going to do the same to this side butterfly there this side of the zipper here this side and then our lining on top and again after it's sewed in okay after we sew that part there we're going to turn it and do a top stitch also. Okay, so I'm going to be doing all this sewing and I'll be right back. So I sew all my pieces. So I attach the zipper for my makeup bag and I top stitch. Now the next step on the makeup bag is um, it's putting open your zipper and put right sides together and you're going to fold your zipper to the lining like that. You're going to pin it. Okay, same thing on the side. Fold it to your lining and you're going to pin it here so it stays put. Okay, we're going to mark an opening here in the bottom. Okay, about two to three inches. All right, and we're going to be sewing this all the way around over the zipper. So you're going to start here. You're going to start here, go this way, down, this way, that way, and that way. Then we are ready to do our corners. Then our big bag here that we have here, as you see, I attached the bottom. And now I have my lining here. My lining, I need to attach this to the bag, but my first thing that I want to do is cut my corners. Let me put this one to the side so we can see what we're doing. And we're going to go ahead here and we're going to cut our corners. Okay. So in this case here, okay, you can also go ahead and mark Half an inch, seam allowance. They're not even together, let me even it together. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark my half an inch just in the bottom. Okay, and then also because this one here is gonna have also a bottom, it's gonna have a seam here in the bottom, that one didn't. I'm going to do a half an inch, okay, my half inch. Then from there, I'm going to do two and a half and two and a half. So I'm going to go two and a half and two and a half from those lines that I just made, okay. I don't know if you can see, let's see. Let's bring this more up so you can see better. So from our seam allowance, we're gonna do two and a half and two and a half. That's my two and a half and my two and a half. And I'm gonna draw a box. Okay, and I'm gonna cut that out. So really, if you think about it, it's like three inches because from the edge of your fabric, three in, three in, and three up, because the half an inch seam allowance plus the two and a half that we're cutting would be your three inches. So we're gonna go ahead and cut that, and we're also gonna do the same here on the side. So 
I'm gonna go here I'm gonna in this case here I didn't measure so I'm just gonna put mine here on top and I'm just gonna cut it the same size All right, so we're gonna get now our big bag. And if you wanna touch your straps here, you can already do that. You can go ahead and get your straps. Let's talk about the straps, what I have here. So I already made my straps. So I'm just gonna show you how to do this. What I have here for my straps was I cut two strips. I show you in the beginning what side I cut it from the piece of the butterfly. And it was um, two and three quarters inch strip by 24, right? And then what I did is I fold it in half, I sew it, and then I turn it to the right side. And you end up with a strip just like this. Then I cut one inch a Peltex. 71F, this is what it is, and it's kind of stiff. And then what I do is with uh, either a safety pin, anything that you have around to pass elastic, this is something is like a, something just a pass elastic, and this works perfectly. You would put it in there. I, I didn't even iron it because on this case here, you don't even need to iron that because it, it still goes in pretty nicely. And this is one inch wide, and I think the length of this is 20 inches. All right, so we're gonna go here and just gonna slide it like that all the way in. And when one doesn't want to go anymore, then you're gonna go here where we had that safety. You're gonna go like that, and then you're gonna pull it here from the back. See? Until you have that covered. Okay, what I like to do is, since my piece here is only 20 inches and my fabric piece was 24 inches, I divide those two inches, two inches to each side that doesn't have any Peltex. Then what I do is, what I did on mine was, I trim just the salvage. I went here, I quilted first, so top stitch this side and that side, like I did here. And then what I did was, I went like this and I sew it, just like that. And then after it's sewed, I turned it. It went up with a little triangle here, so it ends up like this. A little triangle ends up like that. Then I just did a seam across to hold it in place. I'm going to put uh, rivets on mine, but uh, if you don't want to put any hardware, what you can do already is attach your handles here. Okay, so you know it's going to go like this. So you can definitely attach your handles already here before you sew the bag. You could even not do this and just attach your handles in there and it would be in between your lining. But mine are going to go on top, that's why this this finish. So if you don't want to do like this way, if you want to put just regular straps on, um, you can go ahead and just sew them in here. You mark your, uh, your straps. You should have, you know, around, in this case here, let me see. I did mine the distance from the middle. One, two, three, four, five, about six inches. So three inches to each side and I you can attach the straps in there and they will be in there like this. In my case, I'm gonna put mine on top. That's why I went ahead and finished mine with little triangles, okay? Because I'm gonna touch those rivets after, okay? So that's how we do the straps, if you didn't know how. I put those to the side and let's keep going with our bag. Okay, so now that I have this sewed in, I'm going to get my lining. Okay, I'm going to go ahead, sew one piece of lining to this side, right? Okay, so I'm going to go here and let's see, I'm going to 
push this back so you can see better. So I'm going to get my lining. And you see there's my square here. And I'm going to go ahead and pin it here. And sew that there. So if you had your straps in there, if you had your straps in there, you would be sewing, you would have had a strap in there and you would be sewing this in between your lining. All right? But in my case, I'm going to do on top, so I'm just going to go here and sew that there. And now I get my other lining and I bring it to the end, and I'm going to do the same thing. So sew the round and I've attached my lining to this side and my lining to this side. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do just like the makeup bag. We're going to bring, see we have the bottom of our bag here. We're going to fold that in half. Okay. And we're going to bring this side here. See, together. Okay. So, Go here and pin it. All right. And then we're going to go here and match. See her seam here? You're going to match it. Go ahead, match there. Then we're going to also Go here, pin the side. So then her bottom here, We're going to leave an opening, I would say about four inches, to turn it inside out. And then you're going to sew from there to there, and there to there. After you've done all this sewing, we're going to do our corners. So, you're going to go here. Fold this across like that and then sew. Go here, fold that across just like that. Match. I normally always mark my bottom first. Mark my bottom here with a little with the scissors or a pin. I want to make sure that that will match my seam right there. And then I sew that across just like that. And I'm going to do the same to my bottom. After I sewed in, I'm going to open this wide like this. Match my seam here. Match my seam and match my seam. And I'm going to sew that across also. Alright, and this side the same. Okay. Now the makeup bag, I need to cut some corners here. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to measure one inch from my seam allowance. So seam allowance, seam allowance, about one inch. Uh, one inch I think it's small. It's going to give me a two inch bottom and I think I want about a two and a half. So I'm going to go one and a quarter. So one and a quarter, one and a quarter. I don't want to interfere with the butterfly. I want to make sure that my butterfly is actually going to stay out of the bottom. That's why you have to plan that when you're working with designs because you don't want to lose half of that. So, but in my case, I think that will work. So one and a quarter, that's one and a quarter. Okay. 
All right, and we're going to do the same to the lining. You're going to go ahead and cut it. I'm going to use this as a guide, you know, put my seam allowance on top of my seam allowance, and I'm just going to go ahead and cut it. You can also measure. This is kind of cheating a little bit. All right, and now we're going to do like the big bag. We're going to go ahead here, match our seams, one to each side, they should nest it, see, one I'm going to fold to that side, the other one I'm going to fold to this side. Okay, just make sure the bottom of the bag, if this one you fold it for this side, this one you also fold it to the same side, so it ends up like this, not like that because then it's going to be kind of weird inside of your bag. So you want to make sure they're folded to the same direction, okay? I would like to mention also, when, when I did the, the, the quilting on my bag, like I did here, I used embroidery thread because it, does, it, it gives you a nicer look, okay? A, a nice embroidery thread will always give you a nicer look. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and sew this and I'll show you everything done. Okay, I sewed everything. So now we're going to turn it to the right side. And don't forget to leave a comment if you want a chance to win two of these panels. Um, the winner will be announced um, next video. And then you have a week to contact me with your information. Um, and then if you don't, we'll pick, the week after, we'll pick another different winner. Uh, just on the comment box, just tell which color would you prefer if you were the winner. If you like the blue bag or if you like the brown bag. Um, and um, good luck. You know, so let's see. Okay. I'm going to push all this way down and we're going to do a top stitch, okay? So we're going to do a top stitch all the way around. Then what I'm going to do through the opening that I have here in my lining, I'm going to attach a magnetic snap to the inside so that this closes here. Also, I'm going to touch my straps, okay? So I'm going to go here and I'm going to go ahead and sew them. I like to sew them a little bit on top and then I put the rivets on it. At this point, I'm not gonna do it because the bag is pretty much done. I will take a picture when it's completely, when it's complete. Um, I'm just gonna put pins. So don't forget, top stitch, push this down, all the way down, you're gonna top stitch, you're gonna touch your magnetic snap, and we're gonna sew the straps. Okay, I like sewing my straps on top of the lining because I find it gives you a little bit of stability to my lining. Okay, so it stays put, doesn't move as much. But like I said before, you could have attached those straps into here before you put the lining on. So and this is done. Let me just attach the other one. Of course, I'm going to attach a little, also a little handmade tag because I like those little tags. There and there. Make sure you measure when you are touching your straps. Make sure they're exactly matching and that they're same height. 
And then the makeup bag that we have here. Do the same thing. I'm gonna open, what I did here though, I trimmed my zipper as you see. I also trimmed it here. And then now I'm gonna bring it to the other side. Of course my zipper, it's open, but it's not open all the way. So I'm just gonna go in, manipulate it a little bit and open a little bit more so I can manage slightly better. Okay, so now I think I'm good. So I'm gonna bring the bag. If it has strings, trim them. Trim anything that you have that doesn't belong, okay? Okay, now I'm gonna open more of my zipper so I can fix everything. I go here, fix my bottom. There you go. And then of course we need to close our lining. Don't forget to do that. And the little bag is done. There we go, we all done. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope I gave you enough ideas that you can use those beautiful panels that you see around and that um, you'll show me you'll send me pictures through Facebook of your projects. And don't forget, leave a comment so your name can be entered on the giveaway. So for two panels and, um, and some lining fabric for your bag. So either blue, you can pick between the blue or the brown. Happy sewing everyone, we'll see you next Saturday.